closed and then open. The terminal third of the cutting edge is on the tooth at all times. So it's toe to tooth, toe to tooth, toe to tooth. So that means you're rolling that instrument every stroke toward the tooth. Closed, open. Remember closed is pulling the shank toward the tooth surface that you're on. And open is pulling it away from, but not off. My grasp is firmer, my fulcrum is firmer. Now for four, I'm gonna use the same end because it's the mirror image of three and I'm just gonna come across the arch and my palm is parallel to the arch and I'm gonna just pull up on my fulcrum, extend my instrument, place my toe at the distal line angle Pull in closed and then open. Go around the corner. Out. Go to the next tooth. Pull in closed and then open. So notice that I've come across the arch and I'm riding up on my fulcrum not coming around to the other side of the arch with my hand. Closed, open, maintaining all three fingers together. <clears throat> okay. All right. Now we're going to move to the mesial Gracie, which is the 1516, and we're going to check it on the mesial in area three. I'm going to check the lower third of the shank being parallel to the long axis of the tooth. Okay, with these instruments, it, when it's wrong, it's really wrong. Okay, go in closed and open. Oblique strokes across the lingual. And then vertical on the proximal. My fulcrum is piggybacking my second finger. And that forces really all of my fingers together as I'm doing my strokes. Overlap your strokes. Lateral pressure on the coronal, but not the apical. Strokes are continuous. Modified pin grasp. Firm grasp. Firm fulcrum. So now we're going to move to area four, which is the mirror image of three. Do the mesials with the 1516 Gracie. I'm going to go in closed and open. And in three, I used complete indirect vision. In four, I'm using both direct and indirect vision. I'm using my mirror to retract the cheek give me some illumination if I need it, and also to see around some of the corners of the teeth if I need to. But I can see some of it with my eyes directly. So I'm kind of using my eyes both on the mirror and on the tooth. Fulcrum is piggybacking. Or my second finger, I guess, is piggybacking my fulcrum. Okay. 
Now we're going to move to our other distal instrument, which is our 1718. We're going to use it only on the molars because it's um, best used for extremely deep pockets in the very most posterior teeth. So I'm going to place it on the distal to check for the correct end. And again, I'm going to piggyback my fulcrum with my second finger, place my fulcrum on tooth number three, and I'm going to roll my fulcrum over and extend my instrument to the distal of the most posterior tooth, going closed and then open 